Hi there. This is Raphael Love, social media mentor. Uh, today we're going to talk about one of the questions that I've been plagued with a lot lately. Not necessarily plagued, but just want to make sure that I give everybody the opportunity to realize that powerful content for your social media is readily available and easily shared. So today we're going to be talking about stumble upon and let me get my stumble upon up. Uh, this right here is stumble upon. And what it is, is basically imagine if you had a remote control and you just wanted to surf the internet and just find different channels or different pages of things that you like. Uh, it's, it's a free service and it basically is a plugin for your browser and allows you to get access to content that you may not ordinarily see based on your normal surfing. Once you get it installed, this is the interface that you see and there's the stumble upon button. When you come across pages that you like, you give them a thumbs up that allows you to see more of those pages. And if you don't like a page, you give it a thumbs down. And as you continue surfing, it will remove those type of pages from your search results. So let's just give a stumble a try. Let's just click the stumble button here and see where we go. I'm a, I'm a foodie and this particular channel is one of those channels that um, I love to get recipes and stuff like that. And let's say, for example, the beauty of this is the fact that you may not have come across this just going through your regular searching and stuff like that. So one of the things that I would suggest is let's say you wanted to share this or pin it. You would just either click on the pin if it happens to be one in the page, which then would bring you to your, uh, Pinterest buttons, and you would just basically click your pin it from there and it would automatically add it to your pin board. So let's just give it, give it another try and see where else we wind up. I really want to come across something really interesting. Uh, that's a quote image quote. I like those. So let me just pin that as well. I'm just going to click on pin it and grab my pin it button into the window so you can see it. And this time I'm just going to change it to powerful quotes and then click pin it and then click close and give it a thumbs up. So then I'll click stumble again and it takes me to a picture. These are really good for sharing on Facebook and things like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do that. Uh, one of the things with the stumble interface, you can directly share that with your friends and people who follow you on Facebook. Helps if I can spell. And then just click post. And it's giving me an authentication window and then it posts it to Facebook. So then I'm going to give it a thumbs up and going to stumble again. Takes me to another picture. I'm just going to like that one. I'm um, just going to keep going here. And here's something really interesting. There are a lot of experiments that people do with art and things like that. If you happen to have art in your category, you can see things like this and they're really interesting and also very good content to share because when people come to this page, they really appreciate the fact that you shared it with them because they don't have the ability to um, see it normally. And this is also interactive too, as I move my mouse, this animation changes. It's like a kaleidoscope. So I'll give it a thumbs up and I'll click stumble again. Here's something uh, else too, that I'm seeing a lot more of lately. And that's quotes. The thing about quotes is they're, they're pretty much timeless and they're, you know, universally shareable. So in this case, I also have a plugin called buffer. And what I would do in this case is I would click buffer and I would then just take buffer and share the link to my different social media outlets provided I was logged in to buffer. In this case, I'm just going to copy that URL and then I'll paste it into a text document and save it for later. Uh, once you get into the habit of saving your links, you can more or less have, have a repository of content to share whenever you want. So I'm just going to save that. Let me just make sure I'll do it again. I'll do it this way and copy that to my little notepad there and I'll give it a thumbs up and click stumble again. 
And the really cool thing about it is you really don't know where you're going to wind up, which is pretty cool. Uh, sort of like you don't know what's going to happen on the next channel. But basically, you get the idea of how Stumble Upon works. And depending on what you want to see or what you're trying to get to, um, you pick your categories and click away, share away. That's all for this. See you in the next.